Hello everyone. So let's go for the tutorial. Uh, I'm gonna drop the link for the animations for you to download the animations in the description below. It's gonna be this. It's going to be these animations. So you just gotta uh, copy, go to your content folder, and then uh, you can create a folder if you want. Uh, inside animations is preferably to create in here folder, and we're gonna name this AO. Uh, I don't know aim. And then enter, paste in here. So we're gonna check if it's uh, in here. There we go. So we can click on look down. There we go. There we have the animation. Let me let me know if it works for you because uh, I, this is the first time that I test in here, so it might not work for you. If it doesn't, just let me know in the comments. And just checking if the animations are working right. Now you can click on uh, AO lookup slot. We're gonna get uh, this bunch of errors here just dismiss this blah, blah, blah. all right i guess we can work with that so uh the reason why i posted here because we have the the, the setup for the yaw uh mix uh, minimum access value under all those inputs all those um uh, setup uh we can go down here and uh, click on this we're gonna do by scratch more or less by scratch so we're gonna uh do here mm idle we're gonna get the mm idle and uh, put here on the preview base pose. Now, once you type look, now here, look middle, it's gonna be, of course, look middle, and uh, and here we're gonna get the preview base pose, so we're gonna have to write idle, and then idle, and put in here. We can name this of mm idle to be we can name this to look uh, base. Look base. That's gonna be better for us to search in here. Wait, where is it? Yeah, look at. So this is going to be the center. Now look up. Okay, click on double click on look up. And here on the mesh space, we're gonna grab our look base. And we're gonna do for the same look down. We're gonna grab the look base, look left, base, look middle, base, yes, look right, uh, double click on look right, and then drag and drop the base pose. On the look base, you don't uh, click here on mesh space, just let add uh, no additive. It's gonna be our base pose. So just click here on save all. It's gonna take a minute or so. It's gonna take like uh, one year to process this. I hope not. I hope everything goes well with you. And you so after we've done that, we can just uh, drag and drop. So we're gonna type here, look. So we're gonna look up like this. Look down like that. Uh, remember, you can always adjust the animation. I'm gonna teach you later how you can do that. And look left. So. Uh, for the left side, we're going to click on the, this dot right here. All right, Ctrl C, Ctrl V on this uh, down, upwards. All right, and the look right, we're going to drag and drop here. Copy two times. There you go. And that's how you set up our look at system, uh, look at aim offset, whatever. Uh, so that's gonna be that's gonna be the uh, how our character is going to behave in the world. Um, all right, so just well, we can click on save here, go back to ABP menu, and your animation blueprint is going probably going going to be similar like mine. If it isn't, just do exactly as you do here. Get to locomotion idle, as you don't see, uh, as you don't, as you as you can see here, you can have. Uh, as you can see here, we don't have our base uh, look base, so just drag and drop. We don't have our idle animation set up, just compile. So it's, we're going to have that. And here on locomotion, we're going to drag and drop our aim offset. I think this is the, the one that I'm looking for. I just created it. So just you get a, a pin the locomotion on the base pose. And the output is going to be the source on this default slot. And as you compile, as you can see here, it's already working. 
um, as you can see here, it, uh, it's asking for the, the yaw and pitch values. We're going to talk about that right now. So uh, if I press play here, it's, it's not going to happen anything because, uh, you know, the uh, we don't have the yaw and pitch values. So how does that work? So basically the yaw, uh, I'm going to teach you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the locomotion event graph. Oh, here you are. Uh, so basically what we gotta do, we gotta, we're gonna have to have a, a new pin here. So you don't, if you don't have just add a pin here, come down a little bit and then just type is valid. Like this one that I have here above, but we're not going to have the, we're not going to get the character reference this time. We're going to get the try, try get Paul honor. So this is going to get the base aim rotation. And then from that. We're going to get the actor rotation like this. And then from here, we're going to get the delta rotator. And so that we can split this value and then we can get the pitch and yaw. That's basically it. So here on the get actor location, we're going to pin to B and here you are. So just, uh, basically you're going to just promote this to a variable and connect to, uh, is from is valid here and then you can you can name this variable uh however you want i already have this variable uh pitch and yaw here so i'm just gonna delete them so i can show you how it works so just gotta just got a name here pitch and the yaw value and make sure to check the if the pitch is right and uh the, the name of pitch is right here on the uh, value Y and uh, the Z is yaw. So uh, make sure connect, uh, connect right here is valid to the pitch. All right, so now we have our variables here. You can click on compile, make sure to save your stuff because uh, in, in case the engine crashes, you lose everything if you haven't saved anything. So, uh, so here, we have the variable yaw that we just created. So get yaw and plug that in. You can just drag and drop to the pitch. So uh, I can just press play here and then we can, uh, we're going to have the animations, right? And that's basically how it works. So if I move to the left, I move to the, to, to the right. The, the animations are working correctly. So if you want to debug this, um, it's very simple. All you got to do is just come here and, and then type here, print string. Uh, okay. So duration is going to be default here. The key is going to be, uh, zero, uh, an extra tip. If you want to, uh, get your print string more organized, uh, the key uh, I signed the value of zero. That means, so that means that the, the, it's going to be on the first line here on the left top. So, and the key one is going to be the second li uh, line. I can type here, um, I can drag like this, and then I can drag this and type name and then build string. And then here you can, uh, append, do something like that. And then the same for, for here, uh, pitch. And then you can, and then you can write here. So this is the pitch, uh, we can write here, pitch and here you can write yaw. So. So that, so that way we know um, which one is which one. So we can press play and see what happens. As you can see here, it popped on, on my screen. I can just uh, adjust the text color. And here it's going to be like, I don't know, green. And here, is can, here as you can see the pitch uh, is what moved the character up and down. And the yaw is the left and right sides.
So that way you know more what's going on in the code. Uh, so as you can see, just this is just a debug thing, so you can better understand and make your own creative coding and stuff. Uh, so here, there is not much secrets in here. Just the minimum access value we choose minus one hundred eighty. Why we chose that? Because you know. Uh, if we move 180, wait, let me see which one this is. This is the yaw. The yaw value, why I choose uh, 180? Because you can move 180 degrees and then you can look to the other side like that. And the pitch is going to be, I chose minus 900 because, you know, that's, if I move 900 on the pitch, it's going to stop, it's going to stop looking, that's the limit. And because that's the limit of the pitch when you look down and look up, do the same with the look up. And here on the, the smoothing time, I chose two because we ha can have like a better, uh, a better smooth animation with this value. And weight speed is seven. You can choose like if you choose like zero, uh, it's going to look a little bit. It's it's gonna look faster, but not smooth. But maybe you want to choose that value to uh, choose whatever works better for you. Maybe if you want to maybe choose zero in here. Zero. Let's see how that looks like. Yeah, it's going to look like too much. Blah, blah, blah. Too much. Uh, kind of weird. The head is moving kind of weird. So. Yeah, that's why I look. Um, it's preferable to choose the value of seven, so we can have a better uh, kind of smooth animation. I don't know. See which one works better for you, and uh, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I see you in the next one. Bye.